What are you doing, hey. I'm cutting lattice for your windows. Is that working well? Yeah, this works really good. Okay. So, yeah. And you just cut flush. Flush to that, and then the window will sit on all of this, so. So this is day five of five for Gare's trip here. So this last is our last day, push. And we'll be doing miscellaneous stuff like get these windows in. We'll be screwing the fat side fabric to the party board trim on the outside. Those are the big two. I'm sure there's a bunch of That's other the little big things. Two. To yeah. cinch up the top. Yep. And um, then just your core. fabric windows, getting those in the right place. Oh, there'll be some the shimmying insulation. for that. Okay. Oh yeah, we'll get, we'll, Adjust the insulation to and its final it. points and zip tie it yeah. kind of hidden away. I think we have this side all done. Nice. Okay, let's do it. All right, Gary, we're starting another window. You don't, to, you don't need the knife, you can just start cutting. He's yep. cutting, and Gary, so do you mind talking about, we did one full window and you said you learned a lot. It's like, what are we thinking about when we're doing this window? Well, one thing that I learned is that we needed to put the metal strips on before we did the side. Okay. You know how we put these frames in, which was good? Yeah. It needed that metal strip in too. On the outside? That's what took longer than anything else. Okay, see you have to do, we're fighting do it. some work. Okay. So now we're cutting out. So we cut this out, the insulation out, which works really well with the scissors. Um, and then after that, we have to put the metal strips in between, which is the hard part. Okay. Um, and then the, actually the other hard part was the metal trims on the outside. Okay. Because getting those lined up, but now that we know kind of where they line up, it will be a lot more easy. Okay. Yay, mama's here. We brought muffins. Muffins. Mm. Hi. You want to see a window? Is there one in? Hey, Jensen family. Yay! Woo! What are those? This is the only reason I'm here. <laughs> To the next job. Okay. Go put up another yard. Did you see how I made that little loop? Is no. it like a slip loop? Loop. Pretty much, because I can pull it out. Okay. Yeah. So we make a little loop. And this is going to act as a cinch. I got to weave it through because of all this, these grommets. And then I'm going to weave it back through. Okay. Gives you a lot of leverage, huh? A lot of leverage. So I just pulled that thing all the way from here. Right. Right. Pretty tight. You want it tighter than that? Now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna um, loop it around this eye bolt okay. since we've got it here. And that means you don't have to tie it off or anything. So I can tie it. Yeah. Really, I don't have to. And um, well, they can always. So we could just hang this rope back up in here if we want. I guess. Okay. Right? Sure. So. Do you wanna? Coil it up. Sure. You can. 
We are cleaning up. Your is up. We have scraps of wood, extra insulation, just little pieces of trash. So we are excited to get this cleaned up and feel more like a home. The kids are derping about in the hammock. So trash pile, wood pile, we'll be able to just pull the little trailer up and just put it all on that. There's the windows. How do you feel, Jarvi? Good. This this phase of yurt was a huge success. So now it's a big tent for us to use. And we just had a long conversation with Gare about what what we're doing next in terms of we want to finish the inside with a kitchen, a bedroom, a bathroom, a loft, like make it a really nice place. But that's a couple months away. I don't we don't we don't have a date at all. So this phase is done and we're in the planning stage of the next one. Okay, we just ended our last work day. We did a little bit of cleanup and Tina and I talked with Gare a lot about plans for the yurt and plans for the rest of the property. So a lot of exciting stuff to come, but that's all months if not years away. Ignore that creek. <laughs> um, so in here, something Tina and I will do next is sand the floor and then treat it. We don't know if we're gonna stain it or not, but either way, some kind of polyurethane coating for the floor needs to happen, so that's a big thing to happen. And that next. we need to do in the next couple days so that we can move, like if we're gonna bring our beds and sleep here. Right, that one's a priority. We gotta get that Another thing we're gonna do ourselves is finish insulating the bottom, because basically there's big pieces of insulation between all the beams, but between that gray drip edge on the outside and the first chunks of wood on the inside, there, there's a bunch of gaps that we need to fill in with little scrap pieces of insulation, so we got a game plan for that. And you guys did a practice run of that today. Yeah. Yep. I worked it. And that's it. Kind of whatever we want to call this, like phase one of the yurt build is complete. Phase two would be in here, um, doing kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, all that. And maybe connected to phase two is a utility room off the side of it. Um, so. And phase three, we'll yes. See. Oh man, I want deck to be phase two. Everything should be <laughs> phase two. I want it all now. No, that's all right. All right, cool, see ya. Bye.